Santa has well and truly finished his chimney-based ascents, delivering all the octane mains their presence and all the fennec mains a lump of coal. But cuddle up round the fireplace, because it's time for the top 10 moments from the full major. Number 10, Lando Agogo. Quadrant are owned by Formula One speedster Lando Norris, and we were fortunate enough to spend some time with him on Sunday's pre-show. It's a pleasure to, to join you and yeah, see, the, see this beautiful place for the first time. We even got a peek behind the curtain into how a racing pro handles a mid-match pit stop. Ah, I've been demoed. Box, box, box. Who knew? Number 9. A game won for the ages. Space Station Gaming v Carmine Corp was always going to be good, but before most of us had so much as sat down with the popcorn, things got a little bit silly. They get the early goal here. Definitely want to go back and rewatch if you missed it, or just to whet your appetite for the winter split, as KC and SSG really set the Swiss to sizzle. Number 8. Panda shoots his shot. There may have only been one world champion on Rotterdam's pitches, but a certain two time was with us in his home crowd. Violent Panda my best mate. may have won seasons 4 and 5, oh, my best mate. but his real success was the friends he made along the way, or in this case, more than friends. I uh, brought my girlfriend there on stage because she's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't. <laughs> but uh, she's been the rock of my career, to be honest. We met five years ago in Rock League, and uh, I wanted to end it with her uh, with one important question. Huge congratulations to Panda and Mel, and thanks for all you gave our eSport, big man. Number 7. Another record tumbles. Our other world champ was involved in a little bit of history himself, as Torment and his team version 1 went the distance against Liquid. Well, they may have played three games of Rocket League! Big Oh no! No way! That is absolutely ridiculous! That is illegal! Somebody needs to check the clients! I do not! That is... No! Absolutely not! It's not over! What?! And now we have broken the record for the longest OT at an RLCS LAN. They may have lost that game, oh. but they did win the series. Yay! And even better for top right Tommy was in Game 3 of Version 1 v Team Secret, in which he took Garrett G's record as the player with the most games played at LAN. Look at the way that Team Secret are trying to control. Nice chain dash 2 on the wall. Torment, early breakout! The drought has been ended! That was his record-breaking 198th RLCS game in a live setting, and coincidentally, it also ended up becoming the fourth longest overtime in RLCS LAN history. That's to add to his longest ever from three days before. It's a good job, Torment. Here's to 198 more. Number 6. OCE are good again. It's fair to say a lot of us weren't too hopeful about the Oceanic teams going into the major. Yeah, I've got to go the OC, OCE boys here, KCP. I think we saw it with... But power, led by old-school Aussie Torsos, tore through the soft G2 underbelly to put an oft-forgotten region back on the Rocket League map. Oh! Beaver's up early! Oh! Beaver's oh! Just like at the full major last year, though, power went 2-1 and one in the Swiss before succumbing in Series 5 and going 2-3 and three overall but keep picking up victories, and their region will get taken very seriously again before too long. Number 5. Hi, Joyo! Question. What was Rotterdam's best wave? Relating? Punk? The tidal wave of momentum Gen G built up after being utterly destroyed by Oxygen and the Swiss? None of the above. The best wave was this one. Or maybe this one. Maybe one of these? Huh? Oh. Oh. Wait, 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 we've got it. It was this one. Number four, secret no more. The cat's out the bag regarding South America's latest terrific trio, as Knight, KV1, and star performer Sad secured the region's latest success story. One double commit could ruin this oh! defense, and the ground <laughs> from KV1. One, he's got great boost management. Oh, there he is. About it, and he's gonna have an open net here. What a 50-50 by Knight. 
Saad had 72% goal participation across the whole event. And let's just say they weren't all tap-ins. It might be through the opposite direction. Saad, double tap! Oh Back my. of the net! Considering Secret only made it by defeating Crew in an online tiebreaker, semi-finals was a dream result. And despite losing two of its best, the region continues to develop supreme talent. Number 3. Carmen Corporai You know what? Let's let the B-roll do the talking. No way the first Carmine Corp series their fans would see in person would live up to that walkout, right? Number 2. Moist v Carmine Corp Say what? From within the cacophony of presumably French drums and whistles emerged a classic matchup with Carmine Corp star players form a team. Fry's trying to take advantage of the chaos, but Matera there to cut it out. Now Joyo from the ceiling. Can he do it himself? Can he duck it through? It goes through for Joyo! And Moist take game number one! It's a scrum. In front of that Moist, can they get out of this hole? Oh. No! Oh. They cannot! Matera puts him down! Joyo off kickoff. Astral also coming off the ceiling. Oh! He's on a different plane! What was that? He's not real! What a read from Astral! Oh, surprise! Tipping it away, Joyo! Out of there! Astral! Tira still airborne. Oh, oh, God is good! Matera scores! To add to the outrageous atmosphere, the rest of the crowd went against KC to really stoke some flames. The result was an intercontinental battle, the likes of which Rocket League has never seen. Now an opportunity with all the lights on him once more, but it doesn't matter, Joyo, another early goal for Moist! And it was won by Moist. Number 1. Our winners are crowned. Hailing from England, the United States of America, and Liverpool, comes Gen G. North America's number one team after three regional finals in a row, one of which they won, and now the number one team in the world. Apparently Jack, Chronic, and Nolly put a day two disaster class behind them to produce some stunning Rocket League. This team for Gen G. Oh, what a pass! Oh! A huge achievement that's come from perseverance, hard work, and one of the biggest risks we've ever seen two players make for so many reasons. Hey, maybe we should make a documentary about these guys someday. Until then, set your alarm clocks for January 27th, when the winter split is coming to town.